Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are going to be doing another Sims 4 tutorial I guess you could call it. I'm going to be showing you how to get mods into your game. Now if you've ever watched my series you know that my Sims don't exactly act normal. They don't act the way that they're supposed to in the game and I change their personalities and all that kind of stuff with mods and it makes the game just 10 times more interesting in my opinion. It makes my sims more wild, it makes them more reckless, it makes them a little bit promiscuous. <laughs> uh, sometimes that's a fun thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. If you watch my legacy challenge, you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to get mods in your game, how they work, and all the different kinds of mods that I personally use in my game. So. If you are new to The Sims and you are new to custom content and you are new to mods and all that kind of stuff, you're probably wondering what a mod is. Basically, it is a game altering modification that is created by gamers who play the game and obviously they're programmers as well, but uh, they create mods for these games which change the way the game works. It is not by EA, so um, if the mod makes your game slower or makes it laggy or if it does something wrong to your game, like they take no blame. You are These mods, it's kind of like play at your own risk type of thing. But from my personal experience, mods have never ruined my game. Um, sure, they may slow it down a little bit if you have an older computer, but for the most part, they're all really, really awesome and they're all, most of them are free, which I think is amazing. I think custom content creators and mod creators are literally angels placed on this earth because I don't know what I would do without them. So yeah, I think we should get into all of the mods that I have in my game and then I will show you how to put it into your game because there are a couple mods that I have in mind that I want to add. So I'm going to like go through the process with you guys so you can see exactly what to do to get it into your game. It's actually pretty simple. And then I think we'll hop into The Sims and I will show you my uh, MC command center settings because a lot of you guys are interested in that as well. If you don't know what MC command center is, I will show you in about 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Savannah. I have so many Let's Plays on my channel uh, in The Sims 4 and create a sim challenges, um, mostly everything you could think of. So if you would like to subscribe, come join the family. That would be so awesome. And yeah, that is it. Let's get into this mod video. Okay guys, welcome to my desktop. So a lot of you guys asked me on my cr my uh, custom content video, uh, if you guys are um, interested in like custom content and how to get that as well, I do have a video. I will link it down below in the description if you're interested. But a lot of you guys asked me where I got this um, like um, animated desktop. So I got this on Steam. I have it up right here so I could show you guys. It is called Wallpaper Engine. And I think it was like $3.99. Not free, unfortunately, but they have all kinds of like animated um, wallpapers. And I think it's really awesome. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the mod video. So this is the first mod that I'm going to be talking about. This is called MC Command Center for The Sims 4. This is the mother of all mods. This thing will let you do pretty much anything you want in The Sims. You are in complete control and it is so nice. It is so, so, so nice. So I highly recommend this mod. It really changes the gameplay. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain what it is exactly. It kind of just, the best way to describe it is it gives you complete control over the game. So I will link all of the mods in the description. So this one is called MC Command Center. It's at Deaderpool's Tumblr. So when you click on the link, this is the page that it'll take you to. To download it, go to right here, MCCC Downloads. And this is all very overwhelming and confusing. Trust me, I know, I've been there. <laughs> but all you need to know is uh, these right here, these links, they are different updates of the mod. So down here is the oldest version and then up here is the newest and most updated version. Always go for the one at the top. Like why would you download an older version? I really don't know. But when The Sims 4 game updates, mods usually update as well. So yeah, you're gonna wanna get the one at the very top. So all you do is click it and it should go straight into your downloads. And I'll take care of that later. 
And this one right here, there's two separate ones. There's MC Command Center, which lets you control all of the like game stuff. And then there's MC Woohoo. This one lets you control all of the woohoo aspects of the game. So you're gonna wanna get both. If you don't care about the woohoo, then just download the first one. But if you want both, download both, okay? So there's that. And then the second mod that I use is called Slice of Life. This is another major one that completely changes your gameplay, like an obscene amount. <laughs> I actually use a lot of mods by Kawaii Stacy. Stacy? She's a great mod creator. Um, I love all of her stuff. So this is the website, kawaiistacymods.com. And once you get here, just go to download all downloads. And this takes you to a page that shows all of her mods. And when this pops up, just click, I understand. So this is really nice. She's got a whole bunch. You just go through it and uh, there's many, many pages. And you just pick like what tailors to you and your gameplay. If you want all of them, go for it. If you have a computer that will like handle all of them, go for it. <laughs> Why not? So Slice of Life, this is uh, one that is major. So this mod focuses on adding uh, more realism to the game. It adds physical changes to The Sims, new moods, new cell phone stuff. Uh, there's bullying and like uh, clicks and like popular kids and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, they get teary eyes, they get a blushy face when they're flirty, um, bruise when losing a fight, pimples, gaps when losing teeth, dirty hands, cuts and bandages. And then there's a personality system. So you guys know that there's 16 personality types and this mod will assign your sim a personality type or you can assign your sim what personality type you want. If you don't decide one for your sim, then the mod does it uh, automatically. So that's really cool. Uh, there's all of these new emotions, which is so awesome because, you know, uh, Sims and The Sims 4 are rather one dimensional. So it's nice having all these new uh, moods. Like, it's awesome. It's awesome. And then there's a the menstrual cycle. So girl Sims will get their periods. And uh, yeah, it is. You get cramps, you get headaches, you get all that kind of stuff. And you have to buy uh all of this like tampon and pad stuff uh and you have to change it like it's very 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 real your sims can get drunk you can get acne skin care um all this really cool stuff like and you can get sick um i take a lot of this stuff out just because it's harder because it's more real <laughs> so it makes life hard for your sims like there's no doubt about that. And they also have a memory system, which I think is amazing. So amazing. They're just like major life events that your Sims will think about every once in a while. And they'll get like a special mood lit. I think it's really cute. And yeah, there's like drunk risky woohoo, drunk woohoo, self woohoo. And yeah, she tells you how to uh, remove certain things, but I will also show you. Um, so yeah, once you get down to the bottom, there's download with AdFly, which I always try to avoid just because there's, it's kind of tricky with like um, viruses and advertising and all that kind of stuff. She also has a Patreon if you would like to um, support her, she has a Patreon. And then there's an ad free version with Sim, Sim File Share. Sim File Share is like the green light. Every time I see this, I'm like, yes, I'm downloading this because there's absolutely not gonna be a problem with it at least as far as I know. So I always go with Sims file share for everything if it's available. So once you click, it automatically downloads, or no, it takes you to the Sims file share and then you click download and it downloads. Okay, I'm just gonna go through, since I showed you guys how to download, I'm just gonna go through and point out which ones that I use. Uh, I just downloaded this one. Not really sure if I like it yet because I haven't really played with it yet. I just downloaded this one as well. The explore mod is cool. Um, there are so many options, like your sim will leave the lot and they'll, it's like a rabbit hole destination, just like when they go to work or they go to school, they leave the lot and they're just gone, but they don't take you with you, take you with them. 
So uh, with the Explore mod, there's things like that, like um, you can go get artificially inseminated, you can go, I think you can go to like the hair salon and all that kind of stuff. You just like pay the money and then they go and then they come back and they have like a mood look for it. Uh, what else do I have? What else do I have? I don't have any of this stuff. Um, mm, a lot of events. Prom night's a good one. Um, let's see. Oh, the life decider. This one is so freaking cool for my hunter baby. So basically what it is, is you click a sim and you can decide their life and it gives them a career. It gives them a bonus trait, which I think is so cool. And it gives them like, um, uh, like a few skills here and there. So they're not just like so boring. You know when you meet a sim in your game, like an NPC or whatever, um, and they, and you add them to the family or you get married with them or you have like a relationship with them and they have no skills, no job, like nothing. They're just like freeloaders. <laughs> this mod fixes that. It just decides their life. It gives them a job. It gives them some skills. It gives them an income, which I think is really, really, really amazing and a bonus trait. So in my hundred baby challenge, whenever I move out a young adult um, that is done, that we need to get out of the house, I always do the life decider so that they have something when they move out. So they're not just like a boring old sim. So that's one of my favorites. I highly recommend that one. And that is it by Kawaii Stacy. Her mods are great. A lot of these you guys might be interested in. Um, but I'm into more of like the realist realism stuff. So that's kind of what I stick to. Okay, the third mod that I use, or the third mod that I'm going to show you, is longer parties and more guests. This takes away the timer on events, and it also um, takes away the cap on how many sims that you can invite, which I think is really, really nice. So, um, in order to download this one, I will link this page down below. But you just scroll down here and you see this little files box. Click that, and then you're most likely gonna wanna have the top one. So uh, just click that. It's like both of these combined, I'm pretty sure. Cause see, it has the most downloads, so. But, and you can download them separately if you like. Um, but this one is merged. So you just click that and it'll automatically download to your downloads folder. Okay, this one is called the Passionate Romance mod. I have this mod, but I rarely use it. It gives you um, more romantic interactions. Uh, you can have a romantic selfie, like kissing your partner. Um, I haven't really explored it that much, but I do have it in my game. So if you would like it, I will link it down below. Slow dance mod. I kind of want that mod. Okay, I got it. Cool. So I just clicked that and it automatically downloaded. <laughs> So I will link this page down below and in order to find this mod, you just look for the passionate romance one. Here's the slow dance one. And once you click these things, it automatically downloads. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh, here's the extreme violence mod too. Okay. Yeah, I've heard about that. These are all crazy. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what's this one? Oh, personality please. So this one, it's hard to tell if it's in my game, but I have it in my game and I'm pretty sure it does give your sims more personality. Like, it makes them less dull. So I just, I don't want to take it out because I'm afraid it's going to like change the way my game is. So in order to download this one, you just go to files and uh, you get this one. And I'm pretty sure it's like all of it merged. So what this mod is, is... Um, they might learn traits and careers from deep conversation, more alien interactions, cats and dogs with personality, more autonomy, which is like huge for me. Um, no idle chat, restrictions on romance to help cheating sims, more autonomy for toddlers, interaction based on tra traits, mo moods, conversations, and relationships. Toddlers act more like their traits. Um, yeah. This is a work in progress, but uh, I think it's a good mod to have if you want some more uh, spice in your game. 
Um, this one. This one is supposed to help your Sims sit during events like weddings and all that kind of stuff. It works for me sometimes, but other times it doesn't. Like if you guys saw my legacy challenge with Charlie and Stella's wedding, that definitely didn't work. Only one person sat down. But yeah, I still think it's a good mod to have just in case it does work. So uh, this is the sit please full version under the files. I'm going to download this so I can show you guys how to unrar things because that can kind of get confusing too. Uh, I have this mod as well, more columns in Create a Sim. So instead of it being two columns or whatever it was before, it is now four. So you can see more things at once, which is so freaking convenient. <laughs> So you have the option of three columns, four columns, or five columns. So with this, all you have to do is click it and it directly downloads. So that's really, really, really nice. Okay, this last one I'm going to talk about is the automatic thermostat. I just got this and I think it is perfect. It is an automatic thermostat. Like, can you want more? Isn't it just so annoying when you forget the thermostat's on hot in the summer and your sims are like sweltering in their own home? It's like, go turn it off then. But no, you have to do it for them. So, but not anymore. Not anymore. Not with this mod because uh, it adjusts to the temperature outside and it is so nice. Um, the only thing is it costs 699 simoleons um and you have to activate it before it starts working so uh you just have to pay your sim has to pay and then you will get automatic uh ac or heater in your sims home i think it's amazing i will link it down below all you have to do is click either of these and it'll take you to the download or you can click for sims file share which i love as you guys know all right so this is the mod no ea eyelashes i don't currently have this in my game but i want it so this is the mod that i'm going to be using to show you guys how to add it to your game so basically it just removes the chunky black mess that is ea lashes and it just makes the eye normal so i'm gonna scroll down here to download Okay, so there is ad fly on this one, which is very uh, unfortunate. So all you have to do is wait for this timer to run out and then click skip ad. And there you go, download. So now that I have gone through all of the mods that I use in my game, sorry, I need to uh, gather my thoughts. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to unzip, unrar, all that fun stuff. Okay, so here is everything that I downloaded today. I'm gonna show you guys how to put it into your game. So MC Command Center, see these little files? See how they have a little zipper on there? You don't want that. You need to unzip it before you put it into your mods folder. So basically how to unzip something, all you do is you double click it and it takes you into the folder and it shows you everything that's in it and these files are officially unzipped. So all you have to do is select all of this stuff and put it into your mods folder. So in order to get to your mods folder, all you have to do is go to documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then mods right here. It is this mods folder. So all you have to do is take all this stuff and drag it and drop it into your mods folder. Now I'm not gonna do that because I already have these files in there, but that's all you have to do to get a mod into your game. It's super, super easy. So we're gonna go back to the downloads folder and I'm gonna show you guys, uh, oh, also do it with MC Woohoo. Just grab these two things and drag them into your mods folder. That's all you have to do. So for slice of life, I'm gonna show you what I take out and what I keep in. So I take out the menstrual cycle because it's hard and I just, if I don't want my menstrual cycle in real life, why would I want it in The Sims? So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to delete the self woohoo system because in my experience with this self woohoo system, The Sims just constantly do it. 
like constantly and it's kind of annoying. I also delete the sickness system because of how frequently the sims get sick and just it it's just annoying. I just would rather not. And then I'm gonna go into skin overlays. Oh actually hold on what else did I delete? What else? What else? What else? I keep all of the drama system. I keep the party system. And I'm gonna go into skin overlays and I also delete the acne one because acne is super annoying <laughs> in Slice of Life. I think that's it. I think I keep everything else. So once you get rid of everything that you don't want in your Slice of Life, um, I just select everything except for the text documents because they don't need to be in there. And I'm just gonna drag all that into my mods folder. And that's it. You have Slice of Life officially. So that is how you unzip and uh, all that stuff. I want this slow dancing mod, so I'm going to drag this into my mods folder. And then, what is this other one? I already have Passionate Romance, so I'm not gonna put that, but that's that. This is the Sit Please. So when you see this red little guy here, um, I tend to want to unrar it, so all you have to do is double click, and it brings up this thing. It's supposed to come with your computer. And then I'm going to click this and I'm going to hit extract and then extract again. And then it gives me an unrard version of the mod. So I'm just going to drag this one and put it into my mods folder. Okay. So I'll show you guys again how I did that. So I'm just going to, if it's a dot rar file or a rar file right here, double click, select the file, click extract, extract again. And then it brings up the unrard mod, which you're gonna drag into your mods folder. Okay, and that is it. That is how you get mods into your game. So now I'm gonna show you guys in The Sims my MC Command Center settings and how to use MC Command Center in game. All right guys, so I decided to hop into my Realm of Magic series, which we haven't been in in so long. <laughs> I kind of uh, killed that Let's Play just because I got a little bored of it. Um, but yeah, I thought we would jump back in here. Uh, so I don't know if you guys remember, but we have Fiona and Flynn. So let's just explore the uh, MC Command Center a little bit. So this is their dad, Avery. So when you click on a sim, you will see this MC Command Center option. So if you want to edit things with Avery, you would click that. So all of this shows up. I know it's very, very confusing, but you can modify him and create a sim. You can set all of these appearances, walk style, voice, physique, all that kind of stuff. You can make him leave, you can cheat his sim info, you can make him happy, you can reset him. Um, all of this stuff. MC Dresser, you can change his outfit, randomize his clothes. It's it pretty amazing. See what I mean about it being like the ultimate control over the game? So, uh, you can also set relationships. You can add a relationship with a sim on the lot. You can set friendly, so you can like make them true friends, you can make them enemies, just with a click of a button. There's also another menu in the sims for MC Command Center, and it's on a computer or a mailbox. So what you have to do is find a computer or a mailbox and click on it. And then you can go to MC Command Center on the computer as well. And these are more like settings for the game as a whole and not just one specific sim. So basically, if you go to here, MCCC settings, you can do uh, money settings, gameplay settings, set age span duration, notification, console menu settings. So gameplay settings is pretty important. Um, you can adopt a neglected child. You can change the maximum household size. Um, use random aging, maximum rename length, all that kind of stuff. Uh, money settings, pay child support, child support percent, change bills percent, apartment bill percent. So you can, um, you can uh, decide like how the bills work in The Sims. Auto pay bills, which is so nice. Inheritance, there's like inheritance as well. Um, let's see what else there is that I can show you guys. Uh, so you can change your pregnancy settings as well. So you're in complete control, like complete control. 
You can, um... You can make males get pregnant. Um, married only pregnancies, homeless pregnancy. And then here is the woohoo menu. If you don't have MC woohoo, I don't think it'll show up, but it is here since I have it. Um, so you can change, you can um, allow family to woohoo. You can have a teen woohoo, um, same sex try for baby, polygamy, no strings woohoo. Now this is what makes your sims just randomly woohoo without knowing each other or without having any like romance bar it's all random but it can add some um spice to your storytelling if you're into that kind of thing so all you would have to do is click enabled and then you have to restart your game and that's how you get it uh what else do we have what else do we have I have teen pregnancy on. I have no strings woohoo off. Um, here's some more uh, pregnancy settings. So if you do a risky woohoo, uh, the percent that you'll get pregnant, you can enter in here. So I have it about 40. So it's like less than half percent, less than 50% that um, the sim will get pregnant just by regular woohoo. I like this because I feel like it adds realism to the game because it's very uh, likely that you could get pregnant just by woohooing. So um, having that percentage just adds more realism for me. Uh, sim nudity. Um, you can like set stay nude after woohoo, nude woohoo, nude spa. You can have like, you can just really uh, just control everything autonomous woohoo this is when your sims will just be like i want a woohoo and so they'll go do it without you telling them which i think is kind of cool so i have that enabled um this is try for baby as well i have that disabled because uh yeah i have risky woohoo on already so that's enough for me <laughs> um yeah there's like a woohoo skill um yeah, I mean, there's just so much that you can do, like oh, so many percentages you can set and things you can turn on and off to make your gameplay tailored to how you like to play. Um, I think it's great. It's a great, 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 great mod and uh, I will wear, I will wear it. I will use it forever. <laughs> So let's have a look at this um, No Lashes mod, because I'm so curious. All right, let's have a look at the eyeballs. Why is it still there? Oh, they're not. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, that's so good, you guys. Yes, 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 yes. A hundred times yes. I am so happy. I have always hated the freaking... EA lashes guys. I've always hated it. Okay. I'll show you some slice of life stuff as well So um, so when you click a sim you will find the slice of life menu You can do skincare um, on the phone. You have way more social media options um, You know you can pretty much do anything you want and it's so nice one thing I don't really like about slice of life is the pill thing um, all of these pills they can take or they can sell to other sims and it makes them have like a certain side effect. I don't really know how to remove that, but I would if I could. That is not the CC I gave you, but you know what? It's all good. <laughs> oh my god, this stuff is still out here from our Halloween party. Wow. So yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Um, a lot of you guys ask me what mods I use and that is exactly everything that I have in my game. And I also showed you my settings in MC Command Center. I hope it helped you out at least a little bit. I hope it helped everyone out who didn't, didn't know what mods were, didn't know how to put it in their game. I hope you know how to do it now. And I hope you take advantage of all the awesome and free mods there are out there that just makes this game so much better so much more fun <laughs> so that is the end of this video again my name is savannah if you are new please subscribe if you will like and i will see you in the next video love you bye